friends welcome to my workplace for hands on feco and sics training this is a cataract with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis the beautiful red glow is deceptive but as we proceed we'll make out that the cataract is really hard this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome on the posterior aspect of the limbus now the anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And now a side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 2.5 clock hours away. And now capsulorexis. A uh, uterata forceps is being used for capsulorexis. A capsular tag is raised. Then the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise to get an adequate size rexis. In this case, the rexis was on the higher side, it was 5.75 7 millimeter or so. Hydrodissection is done with the help of BSCs and 27 Gauss cannula. And now the nucleus is mobilized. Visco again to fill up the anterior chamber and now is the time to introduce the fecal needle in the anterior chamber. The machine being used is Oatly Catarex 3 and it goes bevel down some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then watch submarine chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus. It goes through the nucleus for some distance and as it reaches near the opposite equator, the nucleus is chopped. Now you can make out how hard the nucleus is. It is grade 4 nuclear sclerosis. So in some brown cataracts with grade 4 nuclear sclerosis we may get such beautiful red glow and then the glow becomes deceptive we think that the cataract is soft and now as the nucleus has been divided into several pieces emulsification is carried out from the beginning the ultrasonic energy is set at 80 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. The anterior chamber is very stable, there is no surge, bottle height is about 110 centimeter above the eye and now the other heminucleus. The pieces are not free. Tilting the heminucleus, applying some energy at the junction of the two pieces and then they become separate. One piece is set, is placed down over the posterior capsule and the other piece is emulsified. It's taking a lot of time for emulsification of the pieces. This is a, a real-time surgery not at all edited. Now this is the last piece. At this time the vacuum is 350 and flow rate is 35. Done. This is the last portion of the last piece. Now after managing the nucleus, the hand piece is the phaco needle is being used for removal of the sub-incisional cortex. 
tried to remove some more cortex, but it did not come easily. Uh, so, I give up. I come out, inject visco in the anterior chamber and no, visco has not been injected. I am using the Simco cannula for removal of the cortex. Go through the side port to remove the cortex from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Done. The posterior capsule is very clear. There are few fibers in the periphery. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. This is hydro polish. A hydrophobic acrylic single piece monofocal intraocular lens has been selected for this case. The main wound is enlarged little bit because the cartridge is a B cartridge, white bore cartridge and this is hydro implantation of the lens and the haptics go in the capsular bag. Lens is dialed a bit by the irrigating probe. Uh, since key hook was not required, this is moxifloxacin. The side port is closed by stromal hydration. The main wound has been constructed in such a way that it does not require hydration. Final lavage, the antechamber is formed very nicely by the Simco. The intraocular pressure is kept on the higher side, integrity of all the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.